This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my very interesting co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshake. Yes, that's me. Did they get me today? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Who did you negotiate with before you started? I didn't negotiate. Yeah, so just, how did they I, get I just you? figured that they would be smart enough. If uh. there's something called production, working with the anchor. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. is, that is that a thing in television? Mm. Moving on. <laughs> Johnny Depp calls Amber Heard the real abuser as the face of in court. Mm. I know we're tired of this story. Yeah. And, and we've said this before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's been speculated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But go, sorry. Yeah, I mean, I'm tired. That's what I want to say. <laughs> but, like we've, but like we've always said, I think they're both the abusers. Mm. Like, it's a toxic, it was a toxic relationship. And, mm. um, Not we, it's you two. I don't think they're both the abusers. So you I think, think, think? I think there is one person that is the instigator. Mm. I think so. So mm. I, I'm tilting towards her. There's always mm. an instigator, the but instigator. how do you reciprocate the instigation? If we're all human beings, I There's think. no way you can, um, if you're... If you're going to allow a toxic relationship to breed and then the person instigates violence, I don't know how you can get out of that without violence, except you get out of the yes, relationship. You can. I did. Do you like to share your story? I've shared my story like a million and one times. I can't time. remember. And you, can't you guys remember. were threatening I was in an abusive relationship, yes. So when she slaps you, you was, what do you do? I walk away, I drive mm. out, I do well, something. Well, really one time though. Not one time, okay. severally. I, just I have there. bite marks, I have. Proof so when she bites that. you, you don't try to you stop us. No, I just walk away. Mm. Yeah, that's how you suppose. Am I supposed to eat a woman? You're supposed to try and stop her. No, Especially if I try to stop you. her, she would fight the back. The pain was not tricking you, Ife. If somebody actually so what if you, what if it, she locked the door, slapped you, and did everything? She's done that we're before here. I jumped the balcony. Oh. If uh, this this is not about you, <laughs> this is about Johnny Depp because it's getting deep. So you're jumping balcony and you're still in the relationship. Um, well, wow. that was the point. I think after I jumped the balcony, that was, that was the moment I was like, okay, there's laugh? the straw that broke the camel's back. And mm. yeah, so I was like, yeah, I need to walk away. Anyway, we don't, your, your so, relationship is not what's on trial here. So I came back. What I did was very, okay, it's not what on trial. Mm. All right, so let's move on. <laughs> if you want to share it, you can share it. I've shared it like me. I'm tired of talking about it, actually. Mm. I, if, if she's getting attacked because he's trying to stop her, I don't think there's anything wrong with... Being stopped. I actually can't stand women who are violent because it's like, are you dumb? Like, can you not see how that's so bad? Because we, we of all people should know how horrible it is to inflict that much pain on someone else for any reason. So um, I don't really like that. And I'm all for a man defending himself just as much as I would defend myself if someone was trying to attack me physically. Um, but I don't know the details of the situation. And I don't want to jump ship because the first person to scream for help was heard although things are changing and she's still getting max even when <laughs> <laughs> even when Johnny Depp is not in the picture I don't know if she just likes max and maybe that's just I don't maybe know that's what thing. that's you know, a we thing like, this conversation if I was saying how did we get there but okay so we'll see how it goes I mean this story is how getting we even more get there now again <sighs> when Depp is not around and she still has marks from somebody so how did she get the mark there are women that are just very very crazy when they're trying to prove a point or when they're trying to make you so she inflicted get the injury yeah they inflict injuries on themselves and you can even pay somebody punch me punch me just so that but I how would that how would that trouble. nail how would that help her win the case with Johnny yeah Depp? Pro, uh, the thing is they're so obsessed that they don't think things true so they just make moves without thinking it true like oh this guy's not even around how am i going to prove this you get me but you just wanted to prove a point and put a picture experience. put a picture out there i'm not no i don't have that experience just me. okay please moving on till we get something concrete on johnny depp and amber head um run town sparks dating rumor with 20 year old south sudanese australian fashion model Mm, and I'm all girl. for it. All for it. That's it a very pretty like girl. You. Like, that girl is <gasps> a dream. Mm -mm. I am all for it. I don't know how they're going to do long distance. Good luck with that. But I think Rontan has something already. for models, right? Yeah. 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 Because yeah. it was dating Sit at some point. That's mm, his they baby have a child, mama. Yeah. yeah. That's his yeah. baby mama. That's when I kind of realized that he, he's actually pretty tall. Because yeah. for him to stand, like, she's like, what, six? Three or six two or so like she's really really tall and then he's like a lot taller I'm like ah bros 
Yeah, Tolo. What's happening? But I've never actually seen Ron Town in person. Good luck to them, Joy. It's cute. We need to see some type of like love going on in the industry, someone to talk about that's like positive stuff. Mm. I don't think Trauma that's happening. In... <laughs> okay. okay. Was that a moment of silence for Chama and David O? No. David O hasn't posted in a while, though, and we're wondering what's going on. He Although, hasn't. Yeah, he hasn't. He hasn't mm. posted in a while. He hasn't said a word he's in a while. He's cooking something. Mm. No, he and actually, one, his I last can, post is, if you can't reach me, don't worry, I changed my number, blah, blah, blah. And uh, in this time for himself, he's always been putting people first. So I think he's just having the me time. And um, I think the last we saw of him was this new song with Mario Kuhn, Betty Butter. Yeah. Mm. So, I'm used to listen to that one. That's really? A jam. That's really? A jam. Mm. That's mm. a jam. But back to Runtown and... Um, What's her name? Adult. Yeah. Yeah. Adult is so cute together and I think she is so, so pretty. A black is beautiful. It's just so powerful when you see a strong black woman like that and she's still able to flaunt it and looks cute. If I wouldn't agree because she thinks I'm, color, I'm, I'm into colorism and all that, but no, I'm not actually. Mm. Okay. I okay. think you're saying this to prove that you're not into colorism. Exactly. No, I'm not I think a lot of people it, are eyeing about this, not from the bottom of their heart, but yeah. because they want to sound good with yeah. colorism. Because mm -hmm. it's I all agree. good. But for me, I'm wondering, aside the fact that he's ex, maybe if this is true, and this one, they are put models. I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm all for a man that has preference, actually. Like, if this is your type, mm. this is your type. I, but, mean, yeah. I mean, it's allowed to have but different it changes, what yeah. you want. But the type but is... is um, ex girl is baby mama. I think she's mixed race or something. I don't think we're talking about color anymore. We're talking about her being a model. Okay, the model no, thing. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I thought you meant like looks. No, I'm talking of looks actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so, they're both models. Okay. But well, the they're looks, both models yeah, and they're different. both tall, yeah. but. Um, their features are very Yeah, their different. features are so, so different. Like, one mm. has a little bit more body, the other one is a lot And from slimmer. way back, this is rumor now, you put in us, I said. Someone told me that Runtown is usually interested in ladies that's got the backside, like, you know. So, I don't know if I the want to The models don't have backside. backside. So, no, the other lady it? has got... No, not, not so she much. Has. Not no, so, much. having so a backside much. is not about having that kind of... You know, something more shabby. It like. has something to be, be you know. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, tea time <laughs> continues right <laughs> after this short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right now? <laughs> oh, yeah. Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, woo! <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. The Olubo of Iwo, Oba Abdul Rashid Adewali Akonji, is kicking against the practice of family planning in Nigeria. He says its application will er eradicate human race. Okay, so the monarch said, and I quote, there is so much more strength in procreation. We ignorantly related poverty to overpopulation. If it, if it were to be China, by now should be the most affected nation um, by poverty. But no, China is the emerging world power, getting it very right, end of quote. Using Canada as a point of reference, he said, few other powerful nations are getting it wrong for placing limits on childbearing years back. 75% of Canadians are made up of foreigners born outside Canada. In few years to come, the land may be controlled by foreigners, end of quote. He was stating that um, um, the dictate of God on more procreation should be respected by individuals willing to bear more children. Grace is great. Having more child is not measurement of poverty. Um, many rules from grass to grace. He, however, um, said education is the key and should be made free for all. <coughs> Uh, mm -mm. It's very interesting how he makes a lot of points, but also contradicts himself because 
um, I, I think there is a worry if you dumping the nature of procreation. I don't think Nigeria has that problem, but I think it, we have seen it, especially in a place like Canada, like you gave an example, where it can backfire if you don't necessarily promote the culture of being together, of repro um, procreating and things like that. I don't think it's, a, it's, a, it's necessarily a good place to be. Italy has had that problem where the whole city was basically empty because there were no young people there. Now they're giving you a house for, for free and a visa for and begging people to come over. So I think that there is points in that. Mm -hmm. um, but then he said education is key. Education is being aware of family planning. It, pl family planning is and is a, a way of it, of educating I don't yourself. I think that's kind of education he's talking. That's about. what I'm saying that he's he is contradicting himself in a, in a in a way. If you're bringing this conversation to Nigeria, I think he has no standing in that regard because. I think we do have an overpopulation problem. I think people need to. I don't. I don't think a lot of families are aware of um, the. I don't want to say science, but like all the knowledge that you need in, in order to start a family. How many kids you want? There's too many women who are having children not because they want to or they're very prepared for what's going on. They're just having sex without actually planning for children. So I think that th there is that problem here, and there's a need for family planning. But then are we, I don't think we're in a place where we have a problem where we're telling people not to have kids at all or mm -hmm. have two kids. We're not saying that. We're just saying be a lot more prepared for the people, the but children that you bring But don't you think we should in. get to that point? Because that's where he's coming from. And mm -hmm. probably this conversation um, has started in their midst. Because the truth is, when you come to Nigeria, aside from the government, these people, the, what do they call them now? They um, rule, there's something Monarch. they call them. Is it, isn't it monarchs? They actually have a lot of say before a lot of things are passed. So mm -hmm. there is the overnight meeting and daytime meeting that has to happen before they can actually come out to tell you this policy has been passed. So for him to come out and be saying this, I feel like the conversation is ongoing. Right. But do we have a population problem? I think we do. And maybe more so we have a mental problem where what he's saying in my head, what I'm hearing is alone, alone, Tomo. And that's what a lot of um, poor people will tell you mm -hmm. when you tell them about, um, okay, why are you still having a child when you have like six mm -hmm. and you can't even take care of the child? And they tell you, ah, alone, 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 alone. basically, God gave us and God will take care of the child. And I think it goes beyond that because I don't think God is going to come down to take care of your child. You have to have a plan. You have to have something doing that you are sure that will take care of this child. But they don't care. They feel like I'm um, begging is fine. Um, then you that think that you want to take care of your own life have now got the responsibility to take care of those family people because they will come to you whether you like it or not. So I think I get where he's coming from, but I don't think Nigeria is at that point where you can even begin to compare us to Canada. And even the China he's mentioning have also gotten to the point where they had to say at some point, one child policy, two child policies, even if it's just some states that um, uh, implemented um, the policies, it had, it had to come to play for them to get it right. Nigeria, with us going over 200 million, so we don't we even know how many we are. I think so. Because even the people that have got this money, how many children do they have? Mm, I think it's a bit vile to be um, capping how many children one person should have. I think that's a bit much. If we've got to, we if, we to had, if we had a China problem, maybe, but we're not there yet at all, in my opinion, mm -hmm. that we need to start telling people to only have two children. I think each family, because if you're talking about... Maybe four is fine. Yes. But do you understand that four there are people fine. who cannot feed two and they have ten? And that's why family planning comes in. So I'd rather push for family planning than putting a cap on how many children you are legally allowed family to have. Family planning is more like saying you can have this... No, family kids. planning is saying for each particular family, mm -hmm. what can you control? How many children can you give the best of the best? My numbers would differ from yeah, yours. Yeah, so the caps are still put in a cap and they like, you can have more than two kids. You can no, have more than for three. my family, it's different, it could be, actually. I, you but can have four hand kids. Hand for your family, it could be that you can have three kids or two kids or one and child. Which but to absolutely, put a cap which there absolutely and say every sense. single family, one or two. Uh, which absolutely makes sense that? because one of the major... <laughs> reasons or one of the major causes of poverty illiteracy is having too many kids in the sense that when you talk about illiteracy you have kids you can send to school and you're complaining poverty in the sense that you have 
more than enough kids you can cater for and then you have to feed from hand to mouth. Now, we need to look at these things when we are doing the whole biological thing and recreating and bringing more life into this world. Now, you see kids that don't turn out good because a lot of parents run away from their responsibility. A lot of them is not because they don't want to. A lot of them is because they can't afford to. Do you understand? So they rather run away from their troubles. And a lot of people won't agree. A lot of people would say, no, it's just who you are. But a lot of men also think about their problems. And when they see the problems in front of you, instead of people taking it head on, some people People try to avoid it. So mm. I think we should just focus on this whole family plan, which is why I don't think what this um, Oba of Iwo is saying is not. My apologies, sir. It's not really smart. Well, but I think while that conversation is going on, what also comes into play is the, um, the, how you grade your population. So when you look at Nigeria now, we have more of the independent population than the dependent population. So that's basically the children and then the elderly ones that are not working. But those that are actually supposed to work are actually and more now. Yeah. And the problem is, do they even have jobs for these people? Mm. And if the people that are supposed to be the independent population, they are also um, seen as the reproductive population as well. So if they keep churning out children and there is no plan by the government to create jobs or an environment that even enables entrepreneurs to work, then we are getting to a point where we should be scared because you're wondering if this next person does not have, they will come and knock on your door for you to give them and because it cannot China work that way. Canada is quite a stretch because in both countries they have a working system. So mm, people. I think, what, I think but, what he's doing with that analysis is that he's kind of making it futuristic. I don't at think. The yeah, he's saying that those are the two. How soon um, is our future? That's the question. Can, like, so if we start giving this type of advice to a lot of people, a lot of people are not even so educated in this part of the world, anyways. Mm. So by the time you start giving them this advice and then a lot of people tend to look at their leaders before mm. they even use like, their brain. I think this is going now, to be a very big blow misleading. on the whole family planning movement yeah. because um, even Lagos State has done a lot with that. They are not forcing it down on anybody's throats. It's just a conversation and they're telling you these are the benefits of yeah. doing it and they also tell you the disadvantages as well. Mm. Yeah. So um, this conversation or this um, That's word why it was, a, it was a bit confusing like him, because he started with bashing it. It, started, it started with bashing um, family planning which is extremely wrong but then he gave examples of how um, capping numbers could be um, a problem, which I agree to. But then he ended it with saying to educate yourself. So in a way, it's all like a bit, you yeah, know. Because family planning is a it's, personal decision. It is. I, I, I think that's what we, we really need to push. I, I, there's too many people who don't understand the thing. But I also wanted to mention, though, I've, met, I've said it a lot of the times, when, table, when we bring to the table a problem, a lot of the times it's super poverty that's pushing it. Because what you would see is that some people are actually aware. They know that pushing this child out for the sixth or seventh time is not something that I'm capable of doing. Mm -hmm. but we have a mindset here, especially in the lower um, class, where that is a means to um, um, uh, help with poverty. So a lot of the times, you, if you have a conversation with a driver or like somebody that you work with that has that is in that um, uh, gap, like mm -hmm. a financial gap, whatever. The conversation is that. Well, they will help bring money in. So if this person sells rice and this person sells orange, there's more people to be able to bring money in. So if that conversation does not change, except that you, you, except change you have a you farm, except labor. you have a farm, and then you want to do child and labor because when are you going to make the fruit of, of your labor? They do, they, they do which is, which they are the ones why in I'm people's this houses are the doing house girl. They are the ones to. on but the streets. Of so course it is. Of mm. course. So that's, this is exactly what I'm saying, that we are the reasons for our problem. Like my security man, sorry to use this example, he lives in a very small cubicle, he has six kids. Mm. Do you understand? I and I'm even, wondering, I didn't even how do you sleep? I didn't yes. even deal with yes, him. No. Yes. So how is he securing you people? How is he a security man? I don't understand. <laughs> you put in that cup and have got issues, really. People. I don't understand. And I'm wondering, how do you even sleep at night? Do you understand? Mm. Do you guys sit up to sleep? Because, and you keep doing that. So when you're saying you want to reap the fruit of your labor, and the age difference is not like it's so much. One is 10, mm. like back to back, back to back. Yeah, you get and me? that's one of the things family planning Every track is in each back to back. You, 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 we might even want to blame the lower class, but you can see it's transcend even in the upper class because you hear some people who um, still sound like that. It's just a lot different because mm -hmm. these guys, you send them to school and all that type of stuff. But a lot of people in Nigeria see children as a means to retire. And it's just the same. It just looks a lot more callous with the lower class people. If you don't start to um, treat the subject of putting a system in place to eradicate poverty for people to become more independent, their choices will be desperate and they'll have six children in one tiny apartment. Mm. And let's not forget that family planning also helps the woman live a better life. But that's another conversation. And yes, the woman should be put into consideration too. Yeah. You can't mm. just be putting somebody into 
putting somebody through stress like that, making them go through labor. Mm -hmm. Labor is not so much fun. Okay, let's move on. And um, lady asked her boyfriend for his 3.8 million naira ring after she rejected his proposal, saying she ended it. <laughs> <laughs> what? If you lose our Do you want to start? We see this happening. We see a oh, lot. Really? <laughs> no, not like in the same scenario. Oh, okay. But you see a lot of ladies that think that, okay, because they've been in this relationship, they've suffered with you, they've done this, they've done that. So when the relationship is over, they feel they have the sense of entitlement, like I'm entitled to this. Like, for instance, I have a friend who was dating this girl. He has three cars. She was using one car while they were dating. And when they broke up, she felt the need to keep that car. Mm. Do you understand? She felt... I like how like, Ife has real life experience <laughs> of whatever <laughs> issue that you bring to this table. She was like, yo, <laughs> can I have my car back? Like, this is when we were in a relationship. Mm. And she started capping all these things like, uh, that, do you know what we've been through together? I thought that car... And it was like, look, I don't turn that car to a Huber. Do you understand? Can I have my car back? <laughs> <laughs> Can Which I is why, you see, uh, there are gifts that I don't collect. And even when okay. I collect it, uh, if you are giving me a car, you are putting that car in my name. Because it's not because I am dating you and tomorrow we break up. I go mm. from having a car to not having a car. It's better I don't drive a car at all. Mm. And I know that it is not my car. And guess what? And I think that's what people need to away. understand. Yeah. She walked away from the relationship very, yeah. and still yeah. wanted to it keep It's very car. dangerous yeah. when you... Um, you are in a hypergamy relationship where the person is obviously in a bigger class because then you are used to a lifestyle that, that he you probably that you, cannot, you. you cannot maintain without mm -hmm. the person. Mm -hmm. And I always worry about that because then you can't necessarily. I, I understand where you're coming from when you want to put your name, but that would never always be the case where a then man in a relationship it. would um, give you. But I like what you said that you wouldn't take those I gifts. Won't. I think personally, for me, it's not just about giving it back when the relationship ends. I've noticed for me, and I think I'm, I'm speaking for a lot of women, the more. Um, independent, I be independent. I become on the person, especially financially. The more I feel like my voice has been taken away, mm -hmm. so that I, subconsciously I just start to take a lot more. I can't use that word. A lot more crap from the person mm -hmm. because I don't have the boldness to really say. Um, no, because you are feeding me, you are paying my rent, you are helping me go to this vacation that I wouldn't have been able to afford mm -hmm. and things like that. And then, but not to deviate, I think this girl doesn't have any stand this is just on keeping that. It's not like they worked together. No, or please. She's and this is insane. why, ladies, you should think about prenups and think about all those things when you are having, when you are going into the institution of marriage, because this is that same type I of we situation. We started doing for girlfriend and boyfriend. We have actually. There are we people have. who do it. Uh -huh. then of course, I, it's I, not I, in the I would, open, but yeah. it's a personal conversation. Yeah. To say this is what's going to happen in this relationship yeah. and whatnot. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, but I think this this lady, like Ife has rightly said, she wanted to maintain a life that she couldn't afford. Or she this wanted, lady, it's no, just no, no, ring. No. She or wanted. she wanted something that she can't afford. Mm. And I think, in my opinion, I think it was after she told her friends. You know, friends can be very misleading as well. Like, yo, this guy proposed. Friends should like to blame somebody. This, that you don't even know. Like, <laughs> you know, like this guy proposed and the ring was like ten k dollars, and they're like, you said no. At least you for collect the ring first. Now, at least collect the ring so first. So, Musa after now went up to call the guy. Can I collect the ring? Yes, wow. influence. Influence. Peer pressure. Wow. Exactly. No. Okay. I think that's how I'll wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and just send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906057519 or Twitter us at Plus TV Africa. Um, also catch up on this conversation and all exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluo Shoke yes, and the right. entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.